We are back. Hammer's happy hour. It's uh, it's a real short one today because I was late and there's someone here to, I think, fix the bathroom. Is it Friday? It's not. It's Wednesday morning. <laughs> So if you haven't, if we haven't really delved into the fixture, it's because I haven't seen it yet because it's not out. Where's guys have got a sick fixture? <laughs> Who else is good, Hammer? Uh, North, the boners. They're coming over here. They're winning um, a flag. We're winning One of the their flag. first in the 10 years. It's going to be a good year for the boners. Uh, no, but look, in all seriousness, I've got a wedding. Uh, this will come out Friday. My wedding will... Not my wedding. <laughs> my brother's <laughs> wedding will be tomorrow. I will have had a Bucks party yesterday. Oh. It's going to be enormous. I'm, um, we're doing, so this will come out after the Bucks. I've got, so Will's not going to know what's going to hit him. We've got a Bill Olympics wow. to start the day. So we've got an Airbnb for two nights. Yes. So we can go to sleep, wake up real early and get at it. Mm. <laughs> get at it. We've got a Bill Olympics. So Will's a bit like you in the sense that like, legend. you think you're <laughs> legend. <laughs> you got the best name ever. Yeah. So no, um, like, he thinks he's really good at everything. Yeah, legit. and like you think you can beat. There's nothing great. that I, that someone can do that you don't think. If I had a little bit of practice, I could beat you with that. Right, great. Correct. That's you. Yeah, it is. It's also him. But it's also incorrect. It's also incorrect. So we've got what's called the Bill Olympics planned. Wow. So there's like 20 people coming to this box. Everyone has come in with like something very weird and niche that they can do. Yeah. That will that they think they can beat Will at. We've done this. Like we've got that. We've Correct, we have. But like these are things like Andrew's doing a forty yard dash. I'm doing like juggling uh juggling apples for like how many times you can juggle apple in a minute. Like I'm pretty good at juggling. Anyway, all these weird <laughs> things that Will is like gonna have no idea about. And it's Angus is the arbitrator. So I will present a handicap to Will. So it's like in a minute, I'm gonna juggle apple three apples thirty more times than you. Right. Angus has to then say if that's acceptable or not. He will wiggle the margins right. back, so he then, doesn't have to beat you. No, no, he's got to beat the handicap that I right. give him. And it's like Andrew's got a forty meter sprint. Mm. Will you start five meters in front of me, and I'll still beat you? That sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, there's twenty things that Will's going to have to do. That is brilliant. And like, if he loses, whoever loses does a fireball shot. So Will could be taught straight away. <laughs> that's the Bill Olympics. Then I've got a Bill quiz. So I've got five rounds. The first three round, the one, three, and five are all like just general specific, general knowledge questions because Will loves quizzing. Every second round is Will specific, <laughs> like just all shit about his life growing up. Like, when did he get arrested for breaking and entering? <laughs> when did he, you know, when did he, you know, you when know. did he have his first alcoholic beverage? All this sort of shit as you go along. Great. Um, so then we're doing that. So that will have been yesterday. So is that one day? That's one day. And then, we go, then we're playing golf, then we're going to a pub. You pretty sure are fucked. Like, we, you, we, you couldn't just sit around and have a beer. No, nah, you couldn't just sit around and have a beer. <laughs> we're, um, this, I'll tell you what, fuck, this will be funny. This can we, This is a bit early to jump straight into this. Can we jump straight into this? Lot. Can we jump straight into this? I don't know. We're just going to throw the sting in after the fact. I don't um, know how it works no. at 9am. You've got know. the <laughs> <dirt. laughs> Go see it. <laughs> you got the You got the power. Did you actually get it? I'm not wearing headphones. No, it? it was there. It was okay. actually playing. Oh, well. um, this ties in really well. So what we're doing after golf is we're going to a pub and we've got a $50 tab challenge. So we're tab going touch, to... Tab, 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 spoured by, sponsor, sponsored by Tab Touch. Yeah, if, thank you. So we're going to a random pub somewhere in Albany with a Tab Touch tab, in the background, tab. like the Tab Machine. And we're in Partners and you've got 50 bucks and you've got to see who can make the most money. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> in like two hours. You'd live stream that. <laughs> so it'll we should be, have just done that for the show. It'll be that will be fucking fun. Now, unfortunately, actually, I'll tell you what, this is really good to tie in with my tab touch multi. So Hammer's Happy Hour multi last week we lost by a point. Devastating. Really, really devastating. Flat ass. I was devastated. Like I'm really upset. Yeah, you were. I've got a new multi this week that is a guaranteed winner. <laughs> responsibly. Careful, <Yeah>, responsibly. <laughs> so there is a couple of sporting events this weekend that tickle my fancy. AFLW, I was a big advocate for. And I know that it's, you know, there's short odds. Adelaide versus Freo this week. Adelaide's $1.20. But I think Adelaide are going to hit the line. The line's 18 and a half. Crazy, but I think they're going to get there. Do you think they're going to beat Freo? I live think they're going to smack goals. Freo. Freo had their grand final on the weekend against Essendon. Adelaide are going to go over there and roll them. So, Adelaide at the line. Okay. You a UFC guy? Yeah, absolutely. The GOAT's back this week. John Jones. John Jones back. Steve Miocic this week. John Jones will submit him. John Jones never lost. No. Nah, so lost. this is a guaranteed win. Yeah. Because guaranteed he's never win. lost. But he's win by submission. Okay. So John Jones will win by submission. Has he been talking that in media? Nah, okay. don't know. But he just he did it to Cyril Garn last time and he's just going to submit him. I, okay. I think. I hope. <laughs> so okay. Adelaide at the line. John Jones by submission. 
and then Japan to beat Indonesia in Friday night soccer by <laughs> by two or more goals. So what is that? A World Cup qualifier? Don't know. Friendly? <laughs> it could be something, but it's out there. Japan to beat who? Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh yeah. yeah, that gets done. Two nil though, at, at a minimum. So two or more goals. That'll be the win. Okay. And so that those three multis. Don't know what it's going to add up to. I've just thrown this on you now. So speak to Tab Touch and put something together. But okay. that's the multi. So we can ride that home. All right. I like all of that. Yeah. I so like. that's that's an easy one. Japan Indonesia is in Australia's pool. They're both. Be, yeah. No. Could, yeah. No. It is. Okay. Well, there that's, you go. That's a pool match for the yeah. Australian division. Thing so Japan will win two 0 World Cup qualifier at, at a minimum. So if they win three 0 we still win the bet. Three two. It'll be two plus. Two plus. Yeah. That's the one. I like it. Yeah. So do I. So I'm. Uh, and at so the, the that, that kickoff starts at eight p.m. Friday. Yes. So 8 p.m. today, if you're listening. Um, Get on now. So Thursday night, when we're at the Tab Touch Challenge, I might just say, hey, let's put my 50 on this. It'll yeah, be a long good. burn. We won't yeah. make any money at the time. <laughs> yeah, just like bet on the Brownlow medalist for next year. I'd say, oh, I did lose, did I? Still got 50 bucks. Mate, I'm telling you, Matty Rao. Matty Rao for next year. I, just, no. I looked at the odds this morning, $34. What's, he's Andy, what's Andy playing? Uh, Andy playing. Uh, uh, Andy, right, sure. I, was gonna say, I thought he was talking about Noah Anderson for some reason. You're calling him Andy. <laughs> Noah Anderson's $51. If those out. Uh, did not see. Carl yeah, Sarong's yeah. quite... No. Nah. He's skinny. Watch Brayshaw. Okay. Righto. Uh, that's ham- That's the tab touch. Thanks, guys. Sponsor- Go Our very good friends. Gamble responsibly uh, for free and confidential support. Call 1-800-858-858 or visit gamblershelp.org.au. Yep. You've that got the touch. Gamblinghelp.org.au. <laughs> yep. There you go. Righto. We're back. <laughs> Hello. So we um, we are ripping through this. I appreciate everybody listening around. We're going to have a shelter talk at some point that may or may not be live. Yeah. No, that'll be Thursday. No, we'll be live breaking it down. But yeah, you'll be live breaking it down and then we'll just repeat it. So me and Skeeter are going to go through the fixture for you. Yeah. Um, the Boners are playing uh, West Coast in Bunbury. So that is confirmed. Good. I'll be down there. Wearing what? Bonus, any, any bonus kit? Yeah, any any kit? I'll be wearing full bonus kit. Could we could we put it on the agenda early that you get like not just a jumper over a top, but like we get you in full, full playing like, kit? Not playing kit, but like full fan wear. Like mm. like blue and white stripe painted over the face. Face painted yeah. like a kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> I might dress up as a kangaroo. <laughs> Could we put that on the agenda early? Let's get it. Okay. If it doesn't clash with the waffle game. If it doesn't clash with the waffle game, I will be dressing up. And the good thing about the bonus is they're going to have four games here this year. No, they'll have three games probably, or maybe two. They'll definitely have the two away games that they've scheduled over here, and they might play free or West Coast in an away game. You reckon? I hope Gee, so. that'd be stiff to cop that. Well, they're, pay- they're getting paid for it. So anyway, I will be at one of the North Melbourne games here in full bonus kit. Do you think, being a boner? Yeah. Do you think that, uh, like, what do you think of this decision? Is it a good one? Yeah. Get cash in the door, mate. I like it too. I love it. No one's, no, like, the big fish in a small pond situation for the Melbourne Football Club, like, as in the Melbourne football teams, the la- the landscape there. Right. right. Collingwood, Carlton, yeah. Richmond, massive fish yes. in, a, in a very, like, it's a, it's a big fish. And the yeah. pond is pretty small, yes. but there's 10 teams. Like, yes. you're talking... Smaller clubs like Hawthorne are now growing. Yeah. North Melbourne is a fucking tadpole in that pond. <laughs> they've just been irrelevant for so long that no one gives a shit about them. They've, they've now grown legs and walked out of the pond. It's the Mexican walking they out of the pond? <laughs> they've walked out of the pond. They're coming over here. So that's North Melbourne. I'm a boner and I love the decision. I like it too. So uh, this is we're segueing all sorts of things. That, remember the guy who ran over Usain Bolt with a segue <laughs> <laughs> at the Olympics? That's where I feel like I'm going with my segues at the moment. Talking about bonus to then segueing into this, which has got nothing to do with who anything. got done. AFL player got done. We interviewed him. Got done with the segue. Yeah, who got who got run over by Brad Johnson. Brad Johnson degrees Achilles Achilles torn by by yeah at, at yeah end of his whole career. It's quite disappointing actually. <laughs> he, was, he was a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Wow, that's devastating. Um, so <laughs> back Brad, to the sweet. Play. Hang on, we're looking it up here. Brad Johnson golf cart. I remember the segue taken down. Is there um, foot- Footage of it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, watch oh, this. It's the drinks cart. Oh! Oh, no. Dunny's Achilles. Oh! Who's driving the fucking drinks cart? Oh! Who thought it was a good idea to just <laughs> run over Brad Johnson? <laughs> he was on the phone, too. Yeah. Go back and pause that. Ready? Pause. Three. Two. Look at oh, him. He's on the blower. No, he's he's looked, on the phone. It looks like Quentin Lynch for some reason. Why is Lynch <laughs> driving the golf cart? <laughs> Sucked in, sucked in Brad Johnson. 
See ya. <laughs> Lynchy. All right. So in one of the great segues, <laughs> let's do- Can we get the segue of yeah. uh, Usain up as well? We're going to do a, it's not Hammer Ranks, but it's a similar style thing. I don't know. We, we, we might just call it Hammer Ranks. I don't think we're going to play the sting for it. We're Sorry. This, up. Sorry. <laughs> this is Hammer Segway. This Look is the this segue part. into Hammer Ranks. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my, my god. goodness gracious me. Oh my god. Just someone they're, they're picking him up, they're taking him out the back and they kill that guy. Go, like, someone kill that bloke that's who's Ken, that's a Ken Hinckley style lynching. Oh, watch what he's doing he's and watch the there. face. What? Oh Whoa. my goodness. Oh my god. Gracious. That camera would have cost a bit too. <laughs> he looked at the camera first. If you watch it one more time, he looks at the camera first and then he's like, watch, watch his eyes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First to the camera. Oh, watch. The camera. camera hit him on the head. That's why. <laughs> he's fucking got belt. Anyway, so he's run Usain Bolt over. So this is my segue. So what are we doing? We're doing, it's not necessarily a hammer ranks. It's like a hammer drafts, essentially. Did we just give it a no? <laughs> we might have just given it a hammer drafts. Hammer drafts. Basketball season's on. Not a big basketball guy. I love football, so I'm trying to bring the two together. Nice. Basketball has, on this court, a starting five. Point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, centre. Nice. I love my basketball. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't what, know what SG's what I thought. To be honest. What I thought we could do... Small guard. ...is as this, uh, as this show progresses, we work our way through the alphabet. Yeah. With guests. With guests. Everyone, I'll word them up. They can have Today, the I'm the guest. You're the guest today. So today, we're going to be doing... A starting five. It's a draft, me versus you. We're going to do a starting five of players whose last names start with A. Current players. AFL players. AFL players. So you have to fill out a roster. It doesn't. You don't have to pick your point guard, point guard first. You can pick whatever is available. Right. Like you, it's, it's a draft. You pick your best available player. So with Paper, Scissors, Rock, winner starts. Okay. How do you do your Paper, Scissors, Rock? Uh, paper, Scissors, Rock, Shoot. Yeah, all right. Here we go. I'm going to throw a rock. Paper, paper scissors, scissors, Rock, Shoot. shoot. No, I didn't throw scissors. Got him. <laughs> Emma. I always say, before I go, I'm going rock, and I always go rock. And you fucking bluff me. I don't think I've ever thrown a paper in my life. In my life. I've oh. never not gone rock. <laughs> That's a great start for me. Rightio. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to draft. As I said, it doesn't need to be. This is a shit game. <laughs> you don't have to take... A point guard first. Yeah. You can take whoever you want. Who's the most important player on can, the board? Can I ask? Can, can I just ask? Given these are AFL players, like, yeah. do I need to justify why I take? Nope. You know, um, you can. Yeah, you know, Braden Ainsworth, <laughs> yeah. for instance, who's no longer on a list. Yeah, but you can. Take He's him. with us in 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 person. Um, not just, really. Just not as a player. Yeah, that's true. If I took him, still do lie. I need to justify why I'm playing him at point guard? Do, like, do you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think so. So, like, if, if, you put, if I take a tall player and I say, oh, no, I'm putting a point guard, like, do they need to be the point guard or just a position? Is this if, a fair if you put down? Alan Iverson at centre, I'd need an explanation. <laughs> Correct. So, yeah, but just, so give me a little... Yeah, but in yeah. this context... I'd like a if, little, if it was Nick Dacos, like, he, I couldn't put him at centre. No. So, what we're going to do at the end of this, we're going to put it to the people who are going to vote on whose team would win. A basketball a game. A basketball game. It's Correct. not a football game. So, Correct. like, if my centre... For example, I'm drafting first, and my first pick of the draft is my centre, Mac Andrew. Wow. So I'm going Mac Andrew. If you've got Nick Dacos against Mac Andrew in the centre, I'm going to have that. That's going to be a win to me. Right. Okay. So, so that's my first I just need draft. to reassess. I've got a list in front of me here. I've sort of done your research. Yeah. But I just need to... So, you know, we're saying Mac Andrew is going to be a good basketball player. Yep. He's my centre. He's not, we're tall. Not, we're not, he's athletic. Yeah, we're not judging him on his football ability. No, it's got nothing to do with his football ability. My centre is a Lear Lear. Because he'd be amazing. He was my other centre. Great. He was my other He pick. was not in my side, but I have brought wow. him up because I think he'd be a very, very good. A Lear is spelt with a double I and an R, not two E's, but thank you. So I think in this draft we should do the snake order. So like you go now. So oh, pick, is that right? Yeah, because otherwise I'll just get the first pick of every position. Look, I, <laughs> I think it would be uh, devoid of my duties as uh, head of back chat yep. podcast, the champions backman. Yep. Uh, we've put out two backmen already. We have, yeah. And we're correct. putting a third out wow. as my power forward, the Jack Buckley medalist, Harris Andrews. Wow, Harris Andrews. There you go. That's an enormous power forward. Could have been a center. I was quite happy yeah, with that. You've, yeah. um, you've left the door Andrews. open for me. Uh, I'm not going to go a power forward yet. I'm going to go up the guard to a shooting guard. I'm going to fill my front court. Okay. This guy lit it up late. 
and I think he'd be a special razzle dazzle player on the basketball court. Wow. Give me Calamache. Yeah, good. Give me Calamache. <laughs> you were going yeah. there. You've taken yes. him at number two. I've taken Calamache at pick number two. I'm really happy with that pick too. Oh, front court big guys, back court little guys. So give me Cal in the back court. The back court. Really? Yeah, because okay. they're at the back of the court and they're throwing the ball around. In the front of the court. <laughs> Some of that moves. Yeah, in the front of the court, they're near the ring and they're slam dunking. Yeah, but that's where you... Okay. All right, let's slam dunk. They're Tim Duncan. I reckon Cal could dunk. I like that. I did like that. Righto, you're uh, up. No, you're right. No, it's me. Snake. Righto, with my, uh, with my third pick... Hmm. <sighs> give me... Hmm. I think I'm going to go to my small forward position next. Okay. In my small forward position, mm. I'm going to, like, this guy is probably, could be a power forward, but I'm happy to take him small forward. Give me Oscar Allen. Wow. Give me Oscar Allen. I feel like he's perfect size for it. He dominates. He just needs to get the body right. He's had his injury concerns. So he could break down early in the season and we could be in trouble. I feel like he's a power forward. No. Nah. Like, who's a, who's a small forward in the NBA? Who's the best one? LeBron James? <laughs> yeah, LeBron. 6'9". <laughs> Okay, so Oscar Allen's LeBron James, perfect. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we're staying on task here. Just got some injury concerns. I'm going to point guard. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to point guard. And this is an absolute no-brainer. I probably should have taken him first. You should have. I think I know who you're going with. Do you? Yep. Will Ashcroft. Yeah, welcome to the welcome side. Welcome to the side, Wilbur. Will Ashcroft, He's a good the distributor. Yeah, great get. Right? So I don't know who's distributing your balls, mate. <laughs> yep. No, that's If fair. I want my balls distributed, yeah, if you I'm want, picking yeah. Will Ashcroft. I'm getting Will Ashcroft to handle my nuggets <laughs> yeah, and yeah. distribute them. Mate, he's joking. Mate. I mean, he's got his own buddy. He's um, got his Instagram page. Mate, and, he's, yeah. he's in the backyard throwing flat footies around. <laughs> like, I mean, this guy knows how to handle a ball. He knows sack, how to mate. handle balls. Right. <laughs> did I say ball sack? I didn't you did. At, wow. Okay, you're my you're next. Up again. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm a little bit rattled. Mm. Uh, off the table, off the table, off the I table. I need to take Will Ashcroft off oh, the draft board. Oh, boy. If we need someone sizable yep. at small forward, because I feel like to match up on Oscar Allen, yeah. I'm going to have to take someone with some height and I'm going to be taking Jai Amos. Oh, that's a nice pick. Yeah. He was on my draft board too. Very nice pick. Jai Amos. Yep. Uh, you know, bit of an in-betweener, <laughs> yep. but very quick off the mark, can match Oscar in most areas. I think he's got him. Like, to be honest, as I look across the matchups, I feel like I don't I, think I'm getting beaten across the board by anybody at the moment. I feel like Oscar is stronger than Jai and will have him for strength and okay. be able to push and shove. Okay. You've also got no one to match up on Cal Archie, so that's huge at the moment. I feel like he's well, no one, man. I, mean, I haven't picked that player, so <laughs> you're right. right correct. So in my power forward position, now I am drafting on potential here. I am drafting on real. You need to... Be at your best. We need Oscar to be fit. We need Oscar to be healthy. I wanted this guy on my team too. Oh I don't, no, I wanted Oscar to be fit and healthy. I need Oscar to be fit and healthy. I need Mac Andrew playing at his absolute all time. Mm. I need Cal Archie playing finals football, mm. and I need this guy playing to the time that he kicked nine in the game. Give me Joel Armadi <laughs> at power forward. <laughs> wow. Give me Joel Armadi at power forward. I think there's an R in there somewhere. A M A R T E Y. There you go. Give me Joel Armadi at the power forward. Look, I like it. Mm. Um, as I look at your team, again, he can fade in and out of games. It's an intimidating team, mm. but I've got my final point guard to go. Now you've gone distributing. You've gone yeah. a little bit of you know pizzazz. Yeah. Give me a real Aussie sort of style, Matthew Delaver Dover style, just a scrapper. Yeah, see, this is who, this is who I want. In a my bloke side. that's going to go in and in. out and just be as hard as nails. You're boning me. Give you? me a boner. Give me Jackson Archer. <laughs> Give me Jacko Archer in my point. I fucking wanted him. Oh mate, look at that. Mate, Tell me that guy. So yeah. Will Ashcroft's going to be smooth and whatever. He's going to have a dog on him yeah, all day. The problem is he's going to have a dog on him. Okay, who are you going to take? I like the guard? pick. Great you pick. needed him at shooting guard no. because you can't have. You got no one distributing at the moment. Cow. Cal can distribute. Absolutely not. So can Oscar. He can run the point. Absolutely not. LeBron, no one it? won't run the point. I don't know any of these terminologies. But at <laughs> I'm just shooting <laughs> shooting guard, um, there's some there's a couple of players on the board. Left, I would like to just throw out a couple of apologies. I'd like yeah. to apologise to Blake Akers. He was on my draft board. Didn't get picked. Uh, didn't get picked either. I would like to apologise to Taylor Adams. Yeah, Taylor Adams on my draft board. Being a picked. good player. Great player. Just hasn't made the side. And I'm I know picking, who I would pick. In I'm this picking position. between two players. Yep. One is a run and a gunner, and he takes the game on at AFL level. And I have a, an inkling that he would be a very good basketball player. The other, mm. 
and I'm leaning this way. And as I think about it, this is who I'm picking. Okay. So I'd like to apologize to Carl Amon. Yeah, Carl Amon was on right. my draft. He was on my draft watch. Yes. wasn't on my board on the watch. But as a real um, oh, look, and this isn't meant to be disrespectful. Like a real scrawny type operator. Like I'm talking Dirk yep. Nowitzki type <laughs> areas. Like you know, Dirk Nowitzki just looked like he, like shouldn't have been able to play basketball. Yeah, seven but foot could. six and just was a gun. Greatest white man. Uh, uh, yeah, Larry Bird. With respect. Dirk Nowitzki. So my Dirk Nowitzki, welcome to the team, Noah Anderson. Yeah, Noah Anderson was on my draft list. Very well done. Now, wow. that's a good side. Wow, wow, wow. As you look across that board, I feel like we match up pretty well against one another. Well, playing styles. Leek Alia, he'll be in there later on in his career. Probably just didn't get... I saw Leek. Yeah, Leek was in there. But probably hasn't done enough to get himself up there. In terms of playing styles, this is how my team's going to play. Sure. They, they, it's it's, it's um, small ball. We're, we're dishing it around. We're yeah. throwing it around the perimeter. And then, you know, Will might just go bang, bang. No, Anderson yep. can shoot a three. Jai Amos can shoot a three. Like, I'm a three he point. Miss. And then we got the power, fellas. Yeah. we got rebounders. Aliria yeah. and Andrews, both defenders. That's big. I'm worried about my, my tall ball. Yeah, small that's... ball, I beat you. Yeah, see, I feel like my small, your small ball is going to be hampered by my Jackson Archer. Well, it's going to have to be. I feel like he's just going to be a real dog at your heels all right. day long. And then I've got the class in Cal and Oscar to be finished. I think I match up really well. Oscar's not running point on your team. Nah, mate. but he's in there. He's distributing his clean. He's his a knife. big dumb forward, mate. He's great, mate. A big dumb forward. Anyway, whose team's better? Mine or Scoey's? That will, uh, and they will advance onto some sort of next round that I'll come up with as the as the year goes along. That's good. I like the segment. I like it. There we go. Hammer, uh, hammer drafts. Hammer drafts. Um... Where did you get to now? Where are you going to take us now, Hammer? <laughs> That's just such a great question. <laughs> um, we had a... Um, Dan wanted to do that. So last week we did that fucking FaceTime text and delete thing. Yeah. And like, it was fine. I, I, got, I got lucky with my FaceTime. FaceTime to mate Kai Wilcox. That yep. was easy. I deleted a, a friend's ex-girlfriend off my phone. So that was fine. Perfect. And then I got... I had to text a guy who did evaluation in my house like four <laughs> years ago. So... <laughs> That's really Hey, Brad, how are you, mate? What's going on? It's Hamish. I was like, oh, he came back to me like three hours yeah, later. Good. Like, oh, hey, mate. Yep. I was like, anyway, I've got, I'm going to get my house valued again. <laughs> so, well, that was fun. That was easy. Are you actually? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Just, oh, yeah. So, like, I'm going to get my house valued again. So, we can do that. But what I feel like it should be. It yeah, should... I asked Dan how do we make it better because I did it the first time I did it, just off camera, it was like, they were all, you know, they were all quite awkward. Either awkward to delete, awkward, yeah. awkward to FaceTime, and awkward to text. I had like, I don't know, yeah, I can't remember, but I was just like, ooh, that's actually quite difficult. Yeah, who who did you get? I, I know Cuzzy was one of them. Ben Cousins was one. Yeah, what did you do? Did you text him? Um, no, I didn't actually do it. I just, if we were doing it, it was oh, a bit yeah. of a trial. If, yep, 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 yep. And do it again if you want me to. But no. how would you make it better? Well, I think it should be maybe not necessary because like, the FaceTime one's just super weird. <laughs> so that's funny. I don't mind that. The text one I feel like is the worst. Right. Because like I feel like for a FaceTime, if you get... if like No one just picks up a random FaceTime, I think. If I got a random FaceTime from just someone I hadn't spoken to in ages, I probably wouldn't pick it up. I'll tell you what would be would make it worse or better yeah. for consumption. Yeah. If, I, if you spin and I choose. <laughs> so... You, you spin oh, it up, you yeah. spin it up, Andy Brayshaw comes up, and I delete his number, delete mate. His number. Yeah, no, that'd, be, that'd be bad. But what I'm thinking is with my guest, as we do this, yeah. I think we have to introduce a little like a little challenge or do something. Mm. It can literally be paper, scissors, rock again. Mm. Loser has to do it. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we do... So delete... I don't really like deleting a number. It's yeah. pointless. Great. This is the point I made several yeah. times. I don't think deleting a number. I've never deleted a number in my life. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we come up with a pretty generic text that we send. Yeah. So like, hey, blank. I think it should be like quite, you know, I've been thinking a lot about you recently. <laughs> no, here, here's, here's. Do you want to grab a coffee? Sir? No, no, here's what I'm, here's my text. This is what I'm thinking. Because <laughs> I think this should be the blanket text or whoever. Because like, this is a very, this is one you can weave a story with. Hey, blank. Really random, but I had a weird dream about you last night. <laughs> Full stop, send. <laughs> so that's what I reckon. And that can then, you can have a conversation about it, whatever. I think we do that. So here's my proposal. We scrap text. I mean, so we scrap delete. Yep. We do text. That's the blank text for everyone forever. Hey, blank, it's Hammer or it's Scoey or sure. it's whoever's on. So really weird one, but I had a strange dream about you last mm. night. Yep. Full stop, send. Yep. Important to put the full stop in there. Yep. I think we then go paper, scissors, rock, loser has to 
scroll and swipe and send. If <laughs> if you want, you can do a double or nothing. <laughs> the double or nothing is another paper, scissors, rock. Yep. We do this at the start of every episode. If you lose the paper, scissors, rock, you have to send the message and then later on in the show, FaceTime. So that at the that same point, person. same person. So at that point, they have seen it. You sent them a text being like, hey, I had a weird dream about you in 20 minutes later. Because I, I would be more inclined to pick up a FaceTime from someone who's texted me saying, I've had this really weird dream about you. Right. And then <laughs> FaceTime. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to say? Then you have to talk for a minute about the, about the dream. I personally think you should be doing this every time. And as the guest, as the special guest mm. privilege, I get to fucking choose who that is <laughs> off your phone. I get to spin. I get to pick. And you have to do it. No. <laughs> it's your show, mate. All right, here we go. <laughs> Eye contact. So you want, to, you want me to spin this up? Spin that up. What are you going to do to it? I'm going to text them that. Hey, really, ready? Spin. Stop. Who was it? <laughs> so good, bro. <laughs> Anthony Henderson. <laughs> who the fuck is oh, that I know guy? Who it is. I know who it is. He used to be a doctor at West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> show me Hendo show me that you've landed on him oh, well, like it was like text him <laughs> do you want me to text him text him hey mate <laughs> I don't even remember him hey mate um, do, do you want to say just wanted to let you know <laughs> uh, bit, no, bit of a weird one bit of a weird one <laughs> um, uh, had what? a really <laughs> Weird dream about you last <laughs> night. Full stop. Send. Is that it? Great. It's, it's send. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate. Bit of a weird one. Had a really weird dream about you last night. Full stop. <laughs> oh, see now. <laughs> I don't remember Hendo. He may have. Look, I don't know if he was there when you were How there. am I going to spin this? I'm not sure how he'd have his number. <laughs> yeah, he but I guarantee I'd have it. He was the waffle guy. He was. Oh, what am I going to say? No, he, was a, he was a waffle. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do from now. When he comes back to me, I'm going to say, oh, you got in a car accident, like just hoping you're okay. That's what I'm going to say. Oh, that's a bit, a bit morbid. Weird. That's weird, bro. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to get this by the end of this episode. No. Is this going to be something you're going to have to do offline? Yeah. I'll put some screenshots, screenshots up of what Hendo says to I me. I think you need to tighten up those rules a little bit. Yeah, I, that's, I think it's just, just a stupid game that really upsets me, but it's fun. It really upsets you. Um, oh, hey, you uh, got a guy coming to fix the toilets. We do. Uh, do you want me to throw to myself? Or yeah, should, throw to you, Why throw, don't you throw to me? I'd, all right, well, I'll throw to you not knowing what's coming. Yeah, you know what's coming. So thanks. Brought to you by ID Athletic, they will literally do anything. Yep. If you want anything done, mm. they will do it. Like yeah. I'm talking, you want your couch built. Yeah. You want to, uh, you want a holiday in Switzerland. Mm. They can sort you out with that. If you want to learn how to knit, they can do that for you. They can also. They do- can also like make your sports merch. Yeah. They can give you hats. They can do all sorts of stuff for you in that realm. Uh, so what we are, what they're bringing us right now is Scoey and Skeet on the Shelter Footy Cast breaking down the fixture that was released yesterday, which is today, <laughs> tomorrow. Sorry, we've lost track of where we're at. It's Wednesday morning. <laughs> Brought to you by ID Athletic, our great friends. Uh, here they are. Let's get into the fixture. So we've had this drip fed to us, which I hate. I've got to be honest. Just I understand why they do it. Oh, they want more airtime. You know, yeah. They give us the opening round a week ago, and then they give Thursday us Thursday nights. They give us gather round, and then they give us round one, and they give us Thursday nights, and then they give us the rivalries, and then they give us like just just can we just have it? So we've got, we've got it. it, baby. We've got it, baby. So I'm going to go through this as it's been drip fed. The opening round. Do you, lo- do you like this? Oh, it's early and it's – I know why they're doing it. It's to counter the rugby league and get the northern states involved. They had some good numbers last year. Uh, I can take it all. Put it this way. People hate it. No footy or footy on that weekend. Thank you. I- I'm taking the footy. Did you hear this? That sounds like you've stolen that out of my mouth. What? They you- don't think I've got a, foot, a brain that can compute any, that- an idea of my own? Well, <laughs> well, well <laughs> at this stage, I'm saying- the jury is still oh, out. Oh, really? <laughs> Considering the predictions of this year where you no, said... No, fair, fair. No, no, fair. I, well, if you, that's how you think. Look, I'm not... It's not my favourite way to start the year, but at least we get to see some footy, so I'm taking that, it. That's the only argument. People are saying, I can't believe it's at the Gabba and the SCG and the Gold Coast and GWS and why have they got four games? The alternative isn't a full round. Just so you know, 
It's they're a, not going to bring the season forward another round. They're giving us another week of football. Uh, the the alternative is no football. So if you'd like to be sitting around not watching footy, and that's you, that people are thinking that it's a, a different alternative. It's more a logistical nightmare for the uh, fixturing team trying to put together the the opening and round, the round one, the buys, and all the Thursday night footy. So. Look, it the, does involve WA clubs, but, but the matchups are great. Yeah, or, or, or almost l- l- all of them. Put it this way: that's a lot of lot better matchups than gather round in what we've been in Adelaide. In, in ter- I know there's a full fixture there, but this is, uh, there's not a lot of blockbusters in Adelaide. Uh, well, so let's go to gather. So, so opening round. I mean, there's brilliant matchups all over the place: Brisbane, Geelong, Elite, GWS, Collingwood, Elite, Sydney, Hawthorne, Elite, Gold Coast, Essendon. No, no, it, it's you know, it's round. Everything's exciting round one because you, your team's got hope. You haven't lost a game. And you, you gather round. They they have gone. We know people are going. We know we're selling them out. It's not about. It's actually not even about the games. It's about going there with your mates and getting on the beers. Barossa Valley, right? Barossa, Norwood, straight into Adelaide City. Show your way up and down whatever that street's called. You, you know, Hindley Street. Yeah, yeah. Very much. Uh, these none of these matches are interesting. Port Adelaide, Hawthorne, maybe, but they've chucked that at six fifty on a Sunday. So. Look, I, you know, none of these excite me. I mean, Gold Coast, Gold Coast, just uh, should go, just got to put that. That's, that's my bad, and I'm going to have to put that down. To, excuse uh, excuse me, Mark Reddings, who's been in media for how many, how many years? You tell us, how many, uh, thirty plus. Uh, what not, sort of punishment does that sort of having your phone not only on but on very loud? It was loud, and you know what? Because my phone's not uh, elite, as you would know, I sometimes have trouble putting to silent. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have a cord. It's like a cord, a cord phone with a bloody antenna coming out. In the old days, I used to have the big brick, and don't worry about that. Anyway, that, that's what that sounded like. There's like a ring, ring. Like, can, can we dial can, up, dial we've, up? You know, we've Hello. buried, we've buried the lead here. All these fixtures we're talking about a shite. Oh, a week ago. Let's. It's five minutes ago. Let's get to the business. Okay. Thank you, Skater. Thank you very much. Right. So I'm going to start with West Coast and Freo, if that's okay with you, Skater. I'll, 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 give, you, I'll give you a couple of little summaries. Yes. Okay. So uh, fixtures are out. I'll give you who team plays twice. Sorry, who each team plays twice in 2025. So West Coast and Freo. West Coast play Giants, Blues, Dockers, Demons, Crows, and the Tigers twice yep. next year. I would say that's a mixed bag. Um, Tigers, they'd be happy with. Crows should have been better this year, but they weren't. Demons, we don't know what they're going to put out. But then Giants, Blues and Dockers, you would think all of those teams play finals next year? So we're saying that to the Eagles draw. And I say this with complete respect to Andrew McCall. It doesn't matter what draw they had. Okay. On paper, it looks tough for you. Yeah, no, that's fair. And just one quick one. They don't play North Melbourne twice. Is that correct? That's and correct. So the reason yeah. being because... Why? Well, the reason is, and it, that must have been one of the deals struck for North Melbourne to come here, as we know, for those uh, yes. two matches, their home match against uh, the Eagles played here. Yes. That's their home match, North Melbourne's. Yes. The Eagles, finishing in the bottom six or bottom four, you would have thought... Should be playing them twice. Twice, which means North Melbourne should be coming back to play an away game. So it's a part of the deal they don't have to come back. That's my understanding. That's, right. that's So whether that's for three years or just the first year, I'm not sure. But for me, the Eagles... On paper, and North Melbourne might be flying next year, but on paper, you should be ha- playing clubs like North Melbourne twice. And the way the deal is struck, it's fine for North Melbourne financially, and also they play a home game here. They also avoid coming back to Perth to play what should be a home game for the Eagles, given the Dockers obviously finished high on the ladder. You yes. get where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, so, yeah. But, but you were pro that deal, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, by Kangaroos. I, was, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a brilliant deal for them. It is a good deal for them. And you know what? Quite possibly, and we haven't been through this forensically, but the Eagles have got a that extra home game may well be against a fellow bottom six club. Sure. So that's how it, I haven't worked it out, but yes. Um, so that is who uh, West Coast play twice. Let's stay with West Coast fixture because I'm just having a look at that as we speak, Skeeter. They start off with a bunch of Sunday games, four Sundays in a row. Their first six weeks, which, look, if you're a West Coast fan and you um, have hopes for a better season next year, they're the important rounds. If you if you start zero and six, you ain't making finals. In Round fact, one. In fact, if you start zero and three, you probably ain't making finals. So the first six rounds I thought are interesting. So they play four Sundays in a row, then Saturday, then a Friday night game. They go Gold Coast, Brisbane, Frio in the Derby in round three. GWS, Carlton, 
Bombers. That is their first six rounds. Uh, finished with a Friday night game against Essendon. How many games do they win in the first six rounds? Gold Coast, Brisbane, Frio, GWS, Carlton, Essendon. They'll start outsiders in all bar one. They might start slight favourites against the Gold Coast. But they here, might. That's yeah, a home that's game. That's what I'm saying. It's here. Sunday afternoon, 3 10, 16th of March. They go home Gold Coast, home Freo, and home Bombers. The other ones are away. I still think they start outsiders in all five and maybe six of those. What What would you like? If, you, if an Eagle's being realistic, if you could win two, two of those six, I think you'd, you're taking it. Uh, yeah. Three would be a very good, re- a good result. Three's if you went 50 50. Well, let's remember where they finished, how many games they won last year. So that's. Mm. That three would be an extraordinary result. I'm, I'm leaning, if you've got two, yeah, we're, we're sort of crystal balling without much. So after that Friday, Skeeter, they play uh, their next eight games until the bye. They play seven Sunday games, one Saturday. No surprise. All of the rest are Sundays. Off and Broadway. And bye in round 15. Yeah, off Broadway, uh, dare I say it, there'll be uh, Fox games that uh, – either later in the day. yeah. So when you finish down the bottom as West Coast did or close to it, you you don't deserve like – they've got no Thursday night footy, obviously. No, not uh, well, not yet because round, round 16, 16 onwards, round 24. That's, they're going to have to do something quite yep. extraordinary and no Friday night footy. Oh, yes, they yeah. do have Friday night footy, yes, but that that's the double header. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's – f- uh, When I say double header, no, it's Good Friday yeah. and after the North Melbourne – I think it's Carlton game on that Good Friday, so which – 6 10 here. Yeah, so it is a standalone. It'll still be a Fox game, just talking TV-wise here, but yes. I, I still think it'll be a TV game for Fox. But, yeah, they do get a Friday game, a Friday look. Whether they get a second as part of those double headers that happened this year, I'm not sure. But They, they play Collingwood at Marvel, not the MCG. Um, they play Melbourne at Marvel. Yeah, they play Melbourne at Marvel Stadium. That can't be right. Uh, can, can happen. Well, so they don't play... Any games at the MCG? At the MCG, they have, oh yep, they play Richmond round nine at the MCG. Imagine if both teams are not going that flash. How many people do you reckon they'll get to that one? Richmond West Coast MCG over <laughs> under on the raining. crowd. So look, I think the back end of their fixture looks easier than the first, but like you said, they're going to be up against it this year. And to be honest, as a West Australian football fan, I'm not as interested as their fixture as I am in Freo's because I think Freo can have a really big crack this year with the addition of Shea Bolton. And I've come, come out and said that. Well, they have to. Yeah. And they have to from a, uh, from a coaching perspective. They have to play finals. That is a non-negotiable this year. Non-negotiable. If they don't play finals, there'll be some major questions asked of a lot of key people there. So Freo's uh, fixture, let's go through that. They play twice. The Swans, the Power, Bulldogs, Magpies, Saints and Eagles. So... Two if, of those, two of those, you go well. Saints and Eagles, you, you're pretty happy. Yeah, to... I don't know if you know, well, Swans, Power, Bulldogs, Magpies all, yeah. all feel difficult, but they should be playing good teams because they're a good side. Well, well, they should be a good side. They should be by the same token. They didn't play finals, so they're sort of in that that awkward spot where they should be getting tougher games or tougher draw. But by the same token, yeah, there's going to be some some clubs like Collingwood who feel they're a bit aggrieved. They finished outside the eight and they've got one of the toughest draws. So as we did with West Coast, let's have a look at their first six rounds. They only play two uh, – they play three games at home, but one of them's the Derby and it's an away Derby for Frio. So they play three games in a row at home, two, three and four. Round two, three and four, they're at home the entire time. So they'll be happy with that. They start in Geelong. Uh, who have who have won 17 of the last 18 round ones at home. The only one they lost, 2015 against Fremantle. They've got a good record there. Correct. They play, play, play well there. So I was about to say, if you're looking at a team, now was it last year? They This year or last year they beat last year. it? Yeah. yeah well, a 20, 2024, 23? One of those. I think <laughs> it's all – I remember um, I remember the big ruckman in, in defence put it out of bounds on the foot. They, they won by by not much. But they had, put this way, they've played good footy there. So I don't think it's a it's – obviously, if you're drawing up a fixture, that's not where you want to go first. But Yeah, I, but I reckon it almost – if you have to play in Geelong, that would probably be – when you want it. You don't want it in the middle of the year. You don't want it towards it's the back end. It's cold and you know Correct. horrible. Yeah. Get there, get it done, get a win. And don't. that that can really launch your season. You're not you're not under travel fatigue in round one. That's true. Right. No. So if you're gonna do that big trip, which is the biggest trip almost the biggest trip in the AFL, because you've got to fly into either Talamarino or Avalon, and then you're Drive on a bus. Down. Love Sleepy Hollow in Geelong, but it's a decent way from Perth. So they played round one Geelong, then they got Sydney uh, at Optus on a Sunday. 
West Coast at Optus on a Sunday, Bulldogs are at Optus on a Sunday, Richmond Sunday uh, gather round, and then they play at the MCG against Melbourne. So they've got Geelong, Sydney, West Coast, Bulldogs, Richmond, Melbourne. They could very easily, if they start well against Geelong, be five and one or six and zero at the end of round <sighs> six. No, no, you gave they, us a, they beat Melbourne. They yeah, beat Richmond. Yeah, but you give me all this last year. They last beat season, Bulldogs. You they beat me, West Coast. You put all this in front of me. And look, I, I love your optimism, and, and so you should be. But uh, well, you, what, what you, you just, just rolled off the tongue six and zero. I think No, five and one I'll give them. What do you think they're going to be? Oh, yeah, in that draw, I'm taking four and two. Right, okay. So they lose to Geelong and Sydney? Uh, Bulldogs Bulldogs and Geelong, Sydney and Bulldogs? Yeah, I mean, you've got finalists there in terms of quality. So, yeah, I, I just... They, if, they would like to get, I think a minimum they would like is four and two at round six. If you if you're a serious side, yeah, that that's you don't want to go in there three and three and having lost to Geelong, Sydney, and the Bulldogs, or lost to Derby again, like they did this year. Yeah, right. That, that was that was disastrous in the scheme of things, wasn't it? Absolutely. So from that point on, and we'll go up to the buy. So West Coast have the round fifteen buy. Freeman, on the other hand, have round thirteen buy. So they get the earlier buy. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, Skeeter. <laughs> they 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 come off round six and they play Adelaide, St Kilda. Collingwood, GWS, Port Adelaide, and the Gold Coast Suns. So that is their next six games, and then they get a bye. So I think that's how you'd probably try and break it down as a coach as well. Um, start with the first six, a little bit of mini break and get into the next few. They've got a Friday. They've got, in terms of games, so they go, after that round six game, they go Friday night against Adelaide, Friday night against St Kilda, Thursday night against Collingwood. And then they go Saturday, Saturday, Saturday into the bye. They've got some Thursday and Friday night footy, as you yep. pointed out, early in the season, which is, uh, I guess, the AFL indicating they, they've got some trust in them delivering. Uh, going back to the, the game against Adelaide, that follows the Collingwood-Essendon-Anzac Day match at the MCG. So they oh. get to play on Anzac Day, which mm. is the Len Hall game. They do it really well. Yep. There's that. Just going quickly to the gather round, I know they've got the Shea Bolton Cup on uh, yes. one of those days. And at Barossa Park. Where Barossa we, we, Park. We know that's where all the best games are played. Yes. Off the back of that... Having a look at your fixture there, the next week... MCG. Okay, okay. so last season, yep. this year, they played back-to-back games in Adelaide to reduce their travel to Adelaide, but this time they're going to go to Melbourne. Well, I, 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 no, it's, I'll just... When you pointed that out, that, they tried to minimise it by playing two back-to-back games yeah, in Adelaide. But do you know what I mean? Like, how does the AFL do that to the Dockers? Go, oh, come come to gather around. Actually, while you're here, why don't you go to fucking Melbourne as well? Like, it... it the The... Non consideration by the AFL for West Coast and Fremantle, and mainly Fremantle, it's it's actually embarrassing. Some of the stuff that we see here. So we talked about the North Melbourne thing. Hey, great deal for North Melbourne, and I don't think you can fault it by that football club. They're going to come over here financially, collect their millions of dollars, tra- travel wise. Probably a fair chance to knock over West Coast, right? So they they get to do that, and then these sides don't get to travel over and play North. And like it, it's. I think I think it is. Look, put it this way: that deal is still a positive for for WA clubs in the travel sense. Trevor Nisbet has gone across and he's trying to not just for WA, but just make sure that the equity in the competition is is more visible to everyone and maybe plays out on that front. But yeah, look, the, the draw is. I would say this: to put together an AFL draw, yes, that gives equity across the board is impossible. Yes, I would. So I do have some some genuine sympathy for those who are in, in that space. Uh, so um, if we just have a little look at uh, overall, it's going to be difficult to go through each club's you know, you know, fixtures, Skeeter, especially when we've barely looked at it. So <laughs> well, no, I'll, I'll give you something yes. easiest and hardest fixtures, and we, we can give some credit to Maxi Lo- uh, Maxi Lawton uh, at Fox Footy Gun, and, yep. I, and I enjoy his content regularly. And yes, he so does way gonna... way more research. Way more knowledgeable than you and I, Skeeter. Why isn't he sitting here then? <laughs> well, who knows? <laughs> anyway, he's a good operator. So, yeah, we, we're leaning on him a bit because we haven't seen it. <clears throat> the, the other club's draws have gone through it forensically, but yeah. I'll give you the easiest fixtures in in 2025. So this is based on double-up opponents mainly. Yep. Um, difficult to give much too much rating to how teams are going to go, but this is what this is based on. Richmond have the easiest fixture in 2025. As they should. Melbourne, Carlton 
and Adelaide. How does Carlton sneak into that? Well, clearly because of who they play twice, I'd assume. Because they got Richmond twice, I'm guessing. They got Richmond twice. Uh, I had that up here just before. Give me one second. But you're right. It's sometimes dependent. If you've got those rivalry games and one club's not tracking that well, then then that becomes an easier draw. Carlton play the Power, Hawks, Magpies, and then they have Bombers, Eagles, and North Melbourne twice. Bombers, Eagles. So Eagles and North Melbourne... There's four wins. Thanks for coming. Yeah, um, you're thinking. So that's how that goes. Uh, and then the hardest fixtures, Skeeter, uh, Brisbane by a fair way. So again, they, they play the Swans, the Cats, the Hawks, the Bulldogs, the Magpies, and the Suns twice. You'd think almost all of those could play finals. So, like, so just to, off the back of that, how tough is it then to win back-to-back flags? Not just in the, the process of it, but, yeah. but the draw that's going to be put in their face. Well, I, do we think that it should be hard, though? It should be hard, right? They yes, should that, be playing the best. That's I've, I've said it. There's been some outliers, whether it's Richmond, whether it's Hawthorne. But to win consecutive flags is yes. bloody hard. Port Adelaide, Collingwood and Hawthorne are the following three hardest by uh, fixture. So uh, this is why I think Port Adelaide's going to have a rough year next year. I, I think Port, or you know, you're gonna have two out of the eight skate. I oh, pick Sydney and Port early. Yeah. I think you. I think what you said had some validity. They've been to the base of the summit. They've been climbing up the mountain. They've tried. They've tried. They haven't got there. Yes. And you're right. At some stage, the the the, the mindset you you run out of juice as, as a group. Now that that's your theory, and I don't think it's it's unwise to think that. Adelaide, you're saying, has one of the hardest draws, you're saying? Yes. Which flies in the face of their results. So it's a make-or-break year for a lot of people at that footy club as well. If they, you know, they've been eight seasons without finals. And the other one, Hawthorne. Just mm. buy beware. I say this, because of what they did this year, they suddenly get catapulted up into one of the, obviously, prime time games, which is terrific. we got four Fridays in the first uh, 14 rounds. Yeah. So, look, all things being equal, they should be premiership contenders if they continue in that trajectory but that doesn't the footy doesn't work that way does it no. you, you know you get injuries you you fall off 10 percent. you think you're, you're going as well as you were it's i just think hawthorne is the question mark there just and i know they've recruited well they're going beautifully sam mitchell's a genius as you said but doesn't automatically translate into a top four finish and a, and a premiership tilt interestingly enough there'll be nine sunday night games in the first 16 rounds including easter sunday and the king's birthday eve what do we think about that sunday night games so when you say sunday night sunday night on the east coast or is it more like four well, o'clock out time three or four o'clock can't well, be night time six o'clock out time surely I know it's hard to look up straight away, but no. I'd say it's more East Coast night games, which would, yeah. which would be like a Perth game starting at, say, 3.10, yeah, correct. which is 6.10 their time, which finishes at 9. So that, that's where you get the, the night game uh, picture. I mean, so I'm just looking at West Coast fixture because that's probably the obvious place to look. They've got a 5.20 uh, – no, that's 5.20 Eastern. That's 5.20 Eastern. That's 3.20 Perth three twenty on a Sunday? Yeah, on a Sunday, yeah. So I'm just looking at their latest games. That's the latest game they have. So that would be the Sunday night fixture because they're talking about over east. None of these none of these have anything to do with Western Australia. They're not talking about Sunday night here. It's Sunday night over east. Well, and, and fair enough. And it's all to do with the broadcast, not so much Fox, but anything Seven does and they're having a lesser role. Yes. They will be looking to, to work on what suits Fox. Yes. Primarily with a bit of Seven input, I'm sure. Yes, correct. Uh, it's going to be an interesting round. I don't... I don't hate the um, future from round 16 onwards being released later. Yeah. I don't hate the... No, you, then you can manipulate because the match we, times. Because we whinge, we whinge about it in round 18 when they've got North Melbourne v Richmond on a Friday night. And this, it doesn't happen when well, we do well, this. Well, so, say you had Hawthorne and Port Adelaide on a Friday night because we think they're going to play finals. Mm. Uh, one team's struggling or both teams are struggling. Then you're stuck with it, aren't you? That's so really I don't cool. mind it. If they do that in the NRL, it works well. Uh, overall, uh, I think, you know, West Coast have been put on the scrap heap. Um, they don't expect, you know, I'm going to say they, the AFL and broadcasters, don't expect them to be playing good footy. Are they going to be better than they were this year? Can you give me a yes or no on that, West Coast? Yes. Yeah, I think the easy answer is yes. And, and the simple answer is yes. And I'm going on the back of you hopefully get more more out of Elijah Hewitt, who's back training, yes. get growth from Ruben uh, Jimby, you get more game time out of um, Oscar Allen. Uh, you, you have, obviously, hopefully don't get too many injuries That's because they're skinny as, yes. a, as a group. Yes. So, you know, in, in November, yeah, I'm, I'm, you've got to be hopeful. That, you know, we cover the game here. I want to see them 
better. I want to see them competitive. I want yes. to see them win. And I, I, that's just from going to the footy and talking about it. There's nothing worse than having a, a two and twenty season or a three like winning five games. It's just it's not good working the media on that part. I'm not being a West Coast sympathiser, but yeah, it's that's being selfish from out where we sit in the media. I think um, look, I think Frio's fixture at, at first glance looks a good one. I think they've got an opportunity to start the season very well. And the mid part of that season that we read out, like the Adelaide, St Kilda, Collingwood, GWS, Port, Gold Coast, they're all very winnable games. So they could go into that round 13 by quite close to the top of the ladder, yeah, in my opinion. But, but I think bottom line is, if the, it doesn't matter what fix you put in front of the Dockers. If, if they've learned anything from what happened in the game against Carlton, Port Adelaide, Collingwood, they were lucky... Yes. Essendon at the MCG. There are probably five games yes. where you look back, and not being too uh, Frio-centric, but you go, should have won. Should have won, should have won. Collingwood game, out of jail. But there's there's four or five games they left, say 20 premiership points they left on the table. Correct. If they can address how they finish games, how they handle tight situations, then yes. th- that ninth or tenth place, wherever they finish this year, becomes minimum top eight and possibly top four. But all those have to be addressed before you start worrying about that. I agree with that. The, the one concerning uh, – or oh, hang on a second. I just got a nice little article on our boy Maxi. One concerning thing for me, which I don't love the mid-season buyers because we get less footy, and I understand why. Right, let's cover that. They're staggered over five rounds this year, 12 through to 16. Most years That's it's a been long three. Time. That's a long and time. And maybe with like a couple out on one extra, but we're going from – Rounds 12 through 16 will be the mid-season buyers. So we can go overseas or something, can we? Correct. <laughs> now, Skeeter. <laughs> Skeeter, Skeeter, Skeeter. Yes. Oh, you All look right. excited. Yeah. Breaking news? Yeah, because Maxi uh, Lawton has... Uh, Contacted you? No, he's oh, put an article up and he's ranked all the bloody fixtures. Uh, so that we've, we've got the winners and losers, basically. Okay. Um, so if I can just pad for one more yeah, second. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out there. Um, AFL 2025 fixture difficulty from easiest to hardest. And this is based on the 2024 percentage of teams they play twice. So it goes, we read, we read this. West Coast come in at sixth easiest. As they should. Yes. Which is about right. Fremantle, 13th easiest uh, fixture. So I don't think that's overly... Good. Winners of the fixture. So Melbourne. So it's not a shock that Richmond, the Wooden Spooner, has the easy fixture, nor uh, Brisbane having the hardest. But Melbourne, so which is around 13th, 14th, where do they finish? Somewhere there. Uh, they get a whole bunch of double ups uh, on shitty sides. So Melbourne, big winners in this one. And they are a side that have a team that can play finals. Capable. Sure. Absolutely capable. Right. I mean, it's For all about- Oliver Gorn. And like- they've. they've- They've redressed their their front office and they've got changes left, right and centre. It, it, in brief with Melbourne, it's all about if Gorn stays healthy, Petrarca and Oliver are there in mind and in body, yes. then, then they're, they're very capable of sharp improvement. Yes, Kreis, uh, correct. Uh, Carlton, they think, are huge winners in this one, Skeeter, uh, which we touched on a little bit. But they were 11 and 4 uh, to start the year last year and then they fell off an absolute cliff. You remember they started getting soft tissue injuries. Yep. So they, although they started well, they'll have to play Hawthorne and Port Adelaide twice, which were top six sides. But other than that, they've got Collingwood, Essendon, and North Melbourne, West Coast. So uh, they've got an easier fixture well, yeah, to come, yeah. come off the back of. Yeah, yes. Collingwood, yeah, is, I think, playing them twice, I wouldn't put down as, as a... Yeah, there's, there's a couple of easier ones there. But Maxie, he's been studying it closely. It doesn't mean a lot because... But you're right. I, I've got to say, I think the most important part of the year is that if you can get... Wins in the bank in the first six weeks of the season. Yes, it sets up. I know it's obvious. Sets up your year. So if you get a slightly easier draw to to launch, right. So to finish off this skate, what happened in twenty twenty four? So this time last year, we, who's easiest? Who's hardest? Who's? But how did it actually play out during the season? So Gold Coast was supposed to have the easiest fixture in twenty twenty four. Did not make finals. West Coast and St Kilda. We ha- had the third and fourth easiest draw. Donuts. Did not make finals. So, um, you know, I don't, yeah, correct. It matters not a lot. I mean, put it this way. I, you'd like, and I going back to this season, I remember one game I was adamant that Fremantle could win. It was against Brisbane, first up here in Perth, and they did that against a team that had played in the grand final. Yes. And the preparation was, was there. So there's going to be advantages 
for, for lower teams up against quality teams, if you play them early and you, you're up and about and they're still getting their, their legs in operation and get, getting their, their game up and running after having the longer break. But we're just guessing, guess, going. We yeah, guessing. well, but we've done that all year, mate. So if you tune into this bloody thing, <laughs> guess, hey, GWS had the hardest fixture last year in 2024 at this time as well. And so they went on to, did they finish top four? No, they finished fifth. Tell you what, and they butchered two finals. Correct. And, and you talk about four. Yeah, four. Yeah, they did too. Butchered Sorry. two finals. And just quickly, you talk about Port Adelaide losing a bit of their puff. Yeah. I, I'm just worried about GWS having gone through those two mm. finals, what it might do to them and, and whether they can okay. sustain it. And, and given they've had some losses as well at the in their squad. Wow, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> What, did you, what was your favourite part? All the bonus talk. <laughs> I threw to that 15 seconds ago. All right, so <laughs> that wraps it up. Uh, thanks to Paywise, power, powering me. We yeah. didn't say that off the start. Sorry, yeah. Frank. Powering me. I'm powering the podcast. We're powering Simo. Uh, powered by Paywise. We'd like to thank Tab Touch. Get on that multi. It'll be up if you go to Tab Touch exclusive. Download the app. Find it on there. It's free money. You may as well. Uh, ID Athletic. What are they now? On one? Yeah. If you shit, they'll come and fix it yeah. on one. Yeah. Uh, Whippersnapper Whiskey, Shelter Brewing Co., uh, Camera Electronic. Mumba Digital. Mumba Digital. And I think that might be it. Um, I'll tell you what. Hammer's happy hour has just gone <laughs> just from gone. strength to strength since I was last year. We are segwaying. All right. Love you'll be it. back in business next week. I'll be week, back though. in business next week, yep. On actual come Friday. Come crack a beer with Hammer. Yeah, on real Friday. Yeah. Good Friday. Friday the 13th. Oh, my God. That's in two days. That's what today is. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Endo. <laughs> <laughs>